Hello guys, Xenical here and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix crashes and increase FPS in RDR2. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this video. Alright, so the main issue why you're crashing is more than likely because you're using the Rockstar Games Launcher. Now I don't recommend using that at all because it's very buggy and you're more than likely that's the reason why you're crashing. I When I first bought the game on the Rockstar Games Launcher, I always crashed like at least an hour into game. I just crash and it says it exited unexpectedly and then once I decided just to buy it off of Steam I actually have no issues right now I've played 10 hours the other day I was in game for over 600 minutes I even have a picture I'll show on screen right now and I did not crash at all so I do recommend buying off of Steam instead of the Rockstar Games Launcher Rockstar Games Launcher is literally a joke and I do not recommend playing it or even buying it off of there so that's probably the main reason why you're crashing Alright, so if you want to fix more of the performance issues, you might want to consider what API you're using. So most modern day graphics cards are using DirectX 12, and Vulkan is not what most graphics cards use. I mean, they could use them, obviously, but most people use DirectX 12, and even Vulkan's not even really supported in most games to begin with. Now, Vulkan does use less of your CPU, so if you have a weak CPU, you might want to use Vulkan instead because they'll use more of your GPU instead. Now, if you have a pretty balanced system with a good, fast CPU and a good GPU, you might want to consider just using DirectX 12. It'll all depend on your system. So, it'll just go ahead and switch up the API, see what happens. If you have less stuttering with one or the other, go ahead and just keep it with whatever works best. I found that on the Rockstar Games launcher that DirectX 12 worked horribly, and I was facing so many crashes, and when I went to Vulkan, all my issues just went away. Now on Steam, I don't really face any issues at all. It doesn't really matter what API I'm using. I can't exactly remember what API I'm using right now. I think it's Vulkan, and I haven't had any issues since. So it really just depends on what API you use and maybe even what, you know, where you're playing the game. If you're on Rockstar Launcher, just get rid of it. I don't even recommend using it at all. Just buy it off Steam. Steam works way better than Rockstar Launcher. Alright, so the next thing you can do is go ahead and roll back your GPU drivers. Or make sure it's fully updated, it will depend. I saw some other people having issues with this driver right here where people said once they updated to it, they had so many issues and they kept crashing. Now if you're one of those people that had that issue and you play the game on release, go ahead and downgrade your drivers or update to this driver. I have not updated to it yet, I'm a couple days off on that one. But go ahead and either update to this one if you haven't already, or downgrade to a slightly older one. Any older uh, drivers to be installed are on NVIDIA's website. I will link all of them down in the description below. Alright, so if you're facing any stuttering issues, more than likely that is because of RAM. Now, if you do not have more than 8GB of RAM, that's obviously not good. You should have at least 16 I find myself having issues with, well not me personally, but I find other people having issues with stuttering and it's because of how much RAM they have. Now the game itself, open with nothing running, for me uses over 10 gigabytes of RAM. I have 32 gigabytes, so that's like nothing for me, but that will depend on you of course and whoever's watching this video. If you have 8 gigabytes of RAM and you're facing issues with stuttering, then more than likely it's a RAM issue and you probably should upgrade. When playing this game, make sure you have nothing running in the background, too. If you are struggling with RAM, I don't really care what's running in the background for me. It doesn't affect me because of the amount of RAM I have. But more than likely, just upgrade your RAM if you have 8GB. Go to 16. 16 is pretty much the bare minimum in 2020 right now. It used to be 8GB, but more games are just starting to use even more RAM. So go ahead and upgrade to 16 at least for gaming in 2020. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys the settings I use. So, let's go ahead and take a look. For the resolution, I have 1080p. Screen type is at full screen. I have VSync on. Keep that on if you want to avoid screen tearing and stuttering. Triple buffering I have on. I don't really see an issue with FPS there. Um, let's see. Texture quality is at ultra. I have anisotropic filtering at 16. Lighting quality at medium. Global illumination quality at medium, shadow quality low, I don't really care for shadows too much, so I have all the shadow related stuff at low. 
Screen space ambient occlusion I have at high. Reflection quality at medium. Same thing with me, uh, reflection quality that uh, takes a pretty good toll on your FPS when you go to high or ultra. So I keep that at medium. Mirror quality is also at medium. Water quality is at custom. That's because of the, I have it edited in the advanced settings. Uh, volumetrics quality, same thing. Particle quality is at medium. Tessellation quality is at high. TAA is at high. FXA is at uh, is set to on. MSAA is at off. Don't have it on eight because that'll take your FPS completely away. If I were to be running 60 FPS right now with it off, I put that in eight. It'll probably be at around 10 FPS. So don't do it. DirectX 12 is my API of choice. I have the volumetric resolution set to medium. The far volumetric resolution also set to medium as well. Lighting quality, medium. I have that set to off. Particle lighting quality and medium. Soft shadows, medium. Grass shadows, medium. Long shadows, on. Full resolution screen space, ambient occlusion at off. Water quality, medium. Water reflection quality, medium. I have the water physics quality pretty low. I did find some FPS issues when it was maxed out. The resolution scale is pretty much multiplying your current resolution. So if it were to be at, you know, 2, 2.5, which is the highest, that's 2.5 times more than 1080p. That is not what you want, so don't do it. You're going to kill your FPS. If you do have a low-end system, though, having it set to half a 1080p, that's actually not a bad idea. I did that a lot in GTA 5 when I had a lower end system. It did increase my FPS a lot. <coughs> TSA sharpening, I have that in medium. In the middle actually. Motion blur, that does not affect anything so I have that set to on because I like motion blur. A lot of people don't but that's a personal preference for me. Reflection MSA, it's same thing with the normal MSA. It's going to kill your FPS whether you like it or not so keep that off. The level of detail, I have that in the middle. Same thing with the grass level of detail, middle. Tree quality is at medium. I have the parallax occlusion mapping quality at high. Decal quality at high. Fur quality high. And tree tessellation at off. So, because I am recording, I noticed that I was having some FPS issues. More than usual. So it does drop into mid-50s, but it's still... As long as it's in the 50s for me, I'm I'm okay. As long as it doesn't drop in the 40s. Now, San Denis itself is a pretty intense map to begin with, so if I were to go somewhere else, I guarantee you I'd be at a constant 60 FPS. Like if I were to go to Valentine, I would be at 60 FPS for sure, but this map is, or the city itself is large and pretty detailed, so I'm kind of struggling. I do believe I'm facing more FPS issues because I'm recording. I have Audacity running too, and Sony Vegas is also running. So that's probably another reason why I'm having FPS issues. I've noticed before I was recording, I was actually at 60 FPS when I was actually playing this game for fun and not just doing a tutorial video. So I kind of find that interesting. But with these settings, more likely you'll stay at a pretty constant 60 FPS if you have a similar setup to me. I have an i7-4790K and two GTX 1070s. Uh, the other 1070s are currently not being used right at the moment because this game does not support SLI. Alright, so this is the end of the video. Hopefully most of these fixes did help with FPS or stabilization of the game. I'm sure sometime in the future also more than likely people are going to create some graphic mod that will also enhance the performance if you have a lower end system. 
but for now you're going to have to rely on Rockstar actually making the game more optimized and hopefully it doesn't be it doesn't end up being another GTA 4 so if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and make sure you subscribe like if you have any comments go ahead and comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible